soccer team and one of my assistant coaches was the crew coach and she said, you know, come out and join the team and I was asking around and I, you know, um, everyone was saying how it was such a team sport and a lot of family was involved so I tried it out and I ended up loving it and I've been doing crew for four years now. So Back when I was in middle school I had a couple teachers telling me about it, all about this program, telling me how great it was, everything they had to offer and I knew that I enjoyed being outside on the water, I enjoyed racing so I figured I'd get into it. Uh, I was originally a swimmer, so I knew a bunch of girls that were swimmers and also rowers, so I thought, why not give it a try, and now I have the opportunity to row another four years in college. Stetson University in Florida. My counselor, and he's also my coach. But what, he kept bugging me to join for, what, two years? So I figured, why not give it a shot? And I like it so far, so. My, my mom was the one that got me into crew. Uh, she was personal friends with the coach and got me into it. And I started off at first, I didn't like it very much, and I had to give it some time. And as I came out and really got accustomed to the sport and got to know my teammates and got a little better and practiced on myself, I fell in love with the sport. I'm going on three years now, planning on a fourth, and hopefully being able to row in college. Um, my sister, because last year she had done crew, and she told me it would be fun, so I joined. Give it a shot. My mom mentioned to me last year when we were at open night and she thought it would be a good idea to join the sport since I didn't like a sport that involved the ball. Probably the dedication and the determination that this team has together and we work together as a family and learning it's just a learning process of working together. It's a good workout, it's good for health, um, mentally healthy, good support. Um, the group of girls, the coaches, and it keeps me in shape. I mean, it feels great. I mean, we go out there every day. We work hard, uh, do whatever sets our coaches give us. We go out and work. We get feedback from, we get our recordings of ourselves. We get the other coaches to watch us and tell us what's going on. Anything we get, we decide to work at that and fix it. And whatever we're doing wrong, we just we make it better. I think the best benefit about it is that you can have scouts look at you while you're rowing and you can, you can be able to have that feeling that you can like push your hardest in order to get to that point where you want to get. It's fun and it's everyone here is like a family to me. So, can't complain. I was going to say the river's gorgeous. I love coming out here like, like Brett was saying. This is my second home. I look forward to coming here every day. I know I'm going to come out, I know I'm going to hang out with great people, I know that this river has tons of nature, we get to see the eagles, the ospreys, I've seen otters out here, plenty of stuff. Going out there with all my favorite girls and winning races that most people wouldn't expect us to win. It's really become a second home to me, you come to the boathouse and you come to the river and it's like, it's like you're back home, it's just another place you come to every day, you become so accustomed to being here. away from the coaches and we saw a weird veil of something coming towards us so we thought it would be a bright idea to row towards it and it turns out it was a freak rainstorm we got completely soaked we had to race back in and when we flipped over our boat it completely drenched us even more like it was it was so fun the fact that we were just rowing in the rain that we didn't expect it to come but it's a memory memory I'll always cherish the most memorable moment and it's a very funny one so there was one race, and we were passing a wall. <laughs> so the coxswain had sent it all the way back, and our bow seat had done the well in front of the whole entire race right after the finish. And that, I believe that was one of our wins. Yes, we got off to a good start. Um, when we were rowing up, it was a little difficult. The wind kicked up, and it was raining. But um, we got into it, and we worked it hard. Well. This year, coming back, knowing that we lost so many seniors here, me and Jared are, you know, we really got to know each other over the past couple of years, and I would, I'd been bugging my coach for a while to see if we, we could eventually get put in a double, and it seemed like it was a, a far away thing, and it actually, my coach came to me during Greenheads with some Myers and asked me if I'd like to row the double with Jared. It's probably my most exciting part of the season. My favorite was freshman year winning the city championships. Um, we were four of us girls and a coxswain that's no longer here, but 
Um, we were throwing that we were throwing in that boat three days before our race, and uh, yeah, and we ended up pulling it together, and we won the city championship. Not schools from Philadelphia and North Jersey, New York, everywhere. Um, it was probably freshman year when we all stood up on the boat when we weren't supposed to <laughs> and took a picture. Joe's first day, like a lot of our rowers, he didn't know a lot about racing, didn't know a lot about the parts of the boat. But from then till now, it's been a 180. It's really impressive how much Joe has made a difference on the other novice rowers. Last year in our JV8, we ended up getting beached which is when the boat isn't moving and we're stuck on land. And all of us ended up having to get out of the boat in the freezing cold water and push it out of the mud. And it was miserable. It was really cold, but it was, like, it was such a great bonding experience. And we're all like laughing so hard. It was just like, it was just like a fun time to be together. It was really funny. Um, <laughs> it's fun. I would join it. Um, it's very, it's interesting. It's something new that not many people, you know, think about doing. I definitely tell them to stick with it. Uh, it's a great opportunity for yourself to expand physically as well as, you know, socially and in your academics as well. It could take you to colleges and anywhere else. Yeah, I am currently signed to Stockton University. I will be continuing to row there and continuing my education there, so. All three of them since my freshman year, so what I think of crew and who's involved, I think of these three. So it's definitely going to be a weird feeling and I'm going to miss them a lot. But I'm really proud of all of them. For, yeah, they're, they're great people. And it's really, it's really a good bonding experience having to work with a lot of people on your team because this is really the most team-oriented sport that there is. I think I would let people know, make sure you're coming out, you're ready to work because it's definitely, it's not easy, but it is a whole lot of fun. You come out, you know, these boys I work with, they're my family. I, you know, I view these people like my family. I get to see them every day, we come out, we work, we're always ready, every, I don't know anybody that doesn't come in not ready to work, everybody's coming in. Um, I'm a senior so I'll be graduating, but I would love to see new people come out, I'd love to see new people come out and enjoy this, it's a great program and I hope what Joe said earlier, this is like a family, uh, it's, it's safe to say Doc, when you join this team, we make sure that we have all the help you need, every day there's at least three or four coaches working with you. Your teammates are like your brothers. They work with you every day to support you. Last year we had such a successful season and we continued that this year. We had three boats that won medals throughout the season, okay? But winning a medal isn't the only thing. A uh, big part of this program is about growing, helping each other, and that's the pillars of this team. We've got a lot of newcomers, they got a lot to learn, but they work hard and hopefully next year we'll be bigger and better. Because I'm doing this and I thought I couldn't do it at first. But it's a blast. No, it's, a, it's a good sport to get into. They have so many opportunities with college and getting money to grow and have fun, you know. All right, guys. So this is the Violin Girls crew team. All I got to say is that you need to join. Come out. Come support. Do whatever you got to do. The races are so much fun. And you just really have to enjoy it. These past four years have been the best four years of my life because of this sport. You learn so much. And it honestly made me the person I am today. So